there, Lucky went to the market to buy some groceries yesterday. He purchased a packet of sand that he needed for his class project. When he returned home, he realized that the camphor powder, salt and sand had gotten mixed. His friend Tara reminded him of ways to separate this mixture that they had learnt in school. Lucky remembered that camphor or ammonium chloride directly converts into vapour upon heating. This is called sublimation. Sublimation is a process in which a solid directly converts to its vapour phase below its melting point without going into its liquid state. In contrast, sand and common salt do not sublime. So from a mixture containing camphor, common salt and sand, camphor can be easily separated first by the process of sublimation. On heating, camphor converts into vapour leaving behind the non-volatile components. On cooling, the vapour of camphor changes into solid. Now everyone knows that common salt is soluble in water but sand is not soluble in water. So, Lucky adds water to the remaining mixture and then pours it through a filter paper. Sand particles will remain on the filter paper but other components of the mixture that is common salt and water pass through the filter paper. This process is called filtration. Now from a solution of common salt in water, common salt can be obtained by evaporation where we evaporate the excess water so that salt is left behind on the dish. For separating the different components of a mixture of ammonium chloride that is camphor, common salt and sand, we can use the methods of sublimation, filtration and evaporation. Take a minute to think about this. If Lucky had dissolved the mixture in water before heating the mixture, both camphor powder and salt, being water soluble, would have dissolved in water and their separation would not be possible. So the order in which these processes are carried out also matter while separating substances. Lucky finished his work thanks to everything he learned in chemistry class. You can apply what you learn in class to your daily life too. Bye!